Hello. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. Uh, tell me, please, what is the weather like today where you are? Laura, are you here? Today the weather is warm and warm. sunny. Sunny, yes. And in Kiev, uh, Yulia, what's the weather like in Kiev? The, the weather is very hot mm -hmm. and dry. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Without, and... without, without rain. Without... Raining. It's not, yeah. it's not raining. Today. Yeah, I agree. It's not raining today. There are no clouds in the sky at all. The sky is clear and the weather is perfect for summer. It's a perfect and warm and sometimes even hot um, in the afternoon. So it's a perfect weather. Uh, thank you, uh, Yelena. How do you find this hello, weather? Do you... Hello, hello. Uh, How do you find hello, this? hello. I like... I like summer very much, but I don't like uh, very hot uh, weather, very hot mm -hmm. temperature. Mm -hmm. And we live on the fifth floor, it's too hot. Uh, and uh, uh, only our uh, rescue, it's a uh, uh, condition. No, oh, <laughs> it's our rescue. Uh, condition, the, air conditioner. The... Air conditioner, yes. Air conditioner, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. It's our rescue from the hot temperature. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is how to um, feel relaxed uh, without feeling hot inside, mm -hmm. yes, um, indoors. Alex, what about you? How do you find this weather? Oh, no. Uh, my weather, <laughs> weather uh, uh, outdoor, it's uh, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sunny, sunny, uh, yes. it's sunny. Okay, uh, thank I, you. I like uh, you I like, like sun and, and hot weather. Me too. Caribbeans, great. Uh, Turkey, perfect. Egypt, I like it. So everything <laughs> oh, yes. to the hot weather, I really like it. Yes. Alena, oh, Alena, I have never been to Israel, but I think uh, if I were in Israel, I would like it. What is the weather like today in Israel? Really, um, uh, the weather uh, in Carmiel today is... Uh, uh, very hot as usual as yesterday as last week uh, and uh, of course uh, the temperature is uh, maybe uh, 33 34 degrees above zero Whoa. and uh, um, and uh, if we um, um, and um, in Kiev uh, such weather is in August usually. Uh -huh. Okay, I understood. Uh, maybe I will get to Israel, uh, let me think, in winter. Because when here is, is cold, in Israel is still warm. Am I right? No, so I... no, of course not. Because in Israel, uh, in winter, it is so cold and... Uh, oh. uh, um, not outdoor, but inside, uh -huh. uh, in the house, uh, so cold. Uh, I went to my Kiev uh, in uh, in April. I went to my Kiev because it was so cold uh, oh inside. Wow, have never thought about that. Maybe it yeah. could be, I don't know. Okay, pr probably yes. So I will find a place where to stay in winter because I like well, uh, warm weather. I like you're when welcome. It you're welcome in spring, okay. summer, and autumn. You're awesome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but Thank not you. in winter. But not in winter. Okay, so I will stay aside. Uh, thank you. So, guys, uh, now I'm going to show you something, something we haven't done before uh, in uh, our lesson. And this is the practicing of uh, pronunciation. So, look, we've got the, the book. Yes, uh, you recognize it. Yes, our book with food. Uh, which is our topic, and we are going to uh, jump to uh, 
actually to the pronunciation. Yes, uh, here we have uh, E and E sounds, E and E sounds, so two sounds for us. Yeah, and we're going to practice some tongue twisters today. Okay, uh, here you are, all the tongue twisters, tw tongue twisters. Look, uh, here we have two sounds, two vowel sounds, E, the short E, which is pronounced like E, and the long E, like E. Look at it uh, thoroughly, please. Look at it. Okay. Here we have this E. E, it means, like in transcription, it means the long sound, E. So you have to say E, uh, as in P's, yes? A T, for example, cheese, yes? But uh, sometimes we have also the word E, like drink, drink. Yes, uh, wish, wish for, yes, which we like yeah. um, a lot. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to practice speaking, practice um, uh, the vowel sounds E and uh, E. Okay, I would like you to uh, switch off the mic and repeat. Okay, if it's okay for you, you listen. And then you switch off the, the, your mic and repeat. Otherwise, there will be a great cacophony. I don't like it. Okay. So I will be repeating uh, as well, but I will switch uh, my mic too. So you have to be uh, aware of what we are doing all uh, together right now. Got it? So let's uh, start practicing. And uh, this is the first sentence we're going to practice today. Unit 3. Pronunciation. Exercise 1. Jill wishes she had fish and chips for dinner. Have you heard it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's try. Like, uh, you just read for yourself. If you, if you can't read so fast, it's okay. Make it uh, slower from the beginning. Jill, uh, Jill wishes she had fish and chips for dinner. All the uh, sounds are uh, short. However, one is long. She, she. Okay. So let's uh, do it once again. Now, exercise one. Jill wishes she had fish and chips for dinner. Repeat. Okay, I hope you did it well. Now, number two about Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Listen and practice. Don't forget to switch off your mic. Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Pete and Pete and Jill drink tea with milk. Have you practiced? Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Okay, have you practiced it? Mm -hmm. Mind one thing, there is E, short E, which is blue, in blue, and long E sound is in red, okay? So try make it longer, like peas, cheese, okay? Or wish, pit, mm -hmm. fish, chips. The last one, guys, listen and repeat. Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Once or sorry, one, one, once again. Pete and Jill drink tea with milk. Will drink tea with milk. Pete's eating meat with cheese and peas. Pete and Jill drink tea with milk. Pete and Jill drink tea with milk. Yes, milk with 
short sound, drink short sounds, but T is the long one. Yes, it is longer than uh, those three I've mentioned before. Okay, so this is about vowel sounds. Okay, so you have to um, be aware how to pronounce these words like I and E. Okay, the perkul we will be able to transcription. Ви будете пам'ятати, що це читається коротким, а це довгим. Зрозуміло? По третьому юніту у нас іде два звуки. Короткий і довгий. Добре. Повертаємося до нашої теми. So now, guys, I would like you to pick up your phones. Take your phones. You can switch on your mic. Right now, pick up your phones. Take your phones, please. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, do it uh, via Viber or using some other tools. This is a QR code. So try to um, get it. Yes, your phone will do everything for you. Yep. And when you get, you will, you will see that there is a question for you, yeah, a question. The question is simple, and there are three answers over here. Type each one. What is mm -hmm, for you? So here is the word, Ola, what is the word? Fancy. Happiness. Sorry? Happiness, yes. How do what do we know about happiness? How do you understand this word? Or what words appear in your mind when you hear the word happiness? What is happiness for you? Okay, so I'm waiting for your answers. Don't forget to submit. Submit it means to say fit to finish. Submit it means to finish. Okay, so finish. Right, type the first, then the second, then the first, the third, and submit. This QR code again. Uh -huh. Here you are. Григорий, извините, я не поняла, что надо делать. Uh, Лаура, Нужно возьмите свой QR телефон. Code? Возьмите да. свой телефон. Uh, у вас uh, компьютер перед вами или телефон просто? Нет, у меня передо мной компьютер, но и телефон есть. У меня просто я не могу QR-код сосканировать. Зайдите в Viber. А, Viber. Viber, mm -hmm. да, там точно есть. Там в Viber вы увидите таки, так, такую штучку. Там э, значит, написано чаты внизу, потом э, вызовы, выклики, корыстные mm -hmm. и додатково, дополнительно там. Есть такое? Вызовы интересные есть. Да, и в, сбоку, в правом нижнем уголке а, у вас все, должно видимо. быть додатково. Да, все, нашла. Нашли. Спасибо. Кликайте его, и сверху, теперь наоборот, сверху в правом углу, то было снизу в правом, mm -hmm. теперь сверху в правом углу, есть похожий QR-код. Кликните на него, и он подтянет вам все, что нужно сделать за вас. Mm -hmm. Понятно? Вот happiness, да. Mm -hmm. Ок, все, получилось. А, хорошо. а если с телефона, если только один телефон, не получится сделать, да? Можно Конечно, по посыланию. Если у вас Похоже, один ты... телефон, сейчас я, а, сейчас я сделаю одну секунду. В чат а, можно посылание, они перейдут за посыланием. Ага. Так. Так. И. И теперь мы submit набираем, нажимаем. Да, 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 да. submit. Учитесь, это уже новое слово, вам оно пригодится. Что это значит? Это как бы вы сдаете свою работу. То есть это фильм. Григорий, Григорий я нашла наверху нашла квадратик, я на него нажимаю. Ага. И написано поместите код в середину квадрата. О, сейчас, 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 я вам его покажу. Вот он. Вот ваш код. Поместите его в середину ага. квадрата. Я ничего не разумею. Либо а переходите по, по ссылке, тогда переходите по ссылке. Нашли? 
I have already done. А что ввести нужно? What is happiness? Что для вас счастье? Какие, какие слова заменяют счастье? Что значит счастье для вас? The question is over here. What is happiness? И тут треба написати? Так, так, так. Вы вписываете, там три будет значение, вы вписываете три слова и сабмитите. Нет, с телефоном ничего не получается. Извините. Не выходит с телефона? Переходите за посыланием. В чате, в чате. Так, в чате. Ага, в чат. А, в чате е. Вот сабмит. Хорошо. Все, я угу. And in the end of the day, we've got some new words for us. Yes. What? is happiness how do we understand happiness yeah what is happiness for you okay so submit submit guys look uh there are words like love lots of people say that uh, happiness is love yes happiness is what family and happiness is peace of course yes thank you peace um all the rest of the words like stability no problems um uh, children do what i like to do smiling my sons weekend happiness um uh, my family so they it means that um only one person um have uh, has the same idea however all the rest the most um answers are love family and peace and health yes and health, health. no one says joy yes great uh, children, children. Uh -huh. and friends children yeah world and friends. With cats <laughs> wow playing with cats to, to pet a cat is happiness yes in some way you are absolutely right so today we're going to talk at least a little bit about happiness but could you please remind me what exactly do we need to eat to get those hormones and to feel happy bananas 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 <laughs> yes why bananas chocolate 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 bananas why why because banana has a serotonin in their in their film or in their film uh-huh meat and yes absolutely right that is about hormones absolutely right thank you guys so now we uh we will jump to uh the first exercise we've got um laura could you please so uh the exercise for i mean the task for the first exercise i'm gonna show you right now i'm gonna show you uh the exercise right now this is over here number six number uh being happy number one mm -hmm. okay read so what this, to do read these statements a uh, cheek bird <laughs> on ones that you sing are important for being happy Mm -hmm. Right across against uh, the ones that you think are not so important. Mm -hmm. For this activity, you have uh, one minute. Yes, you have uh, you, the only thing you have to do is to put either tick or cross. If you say yes, I agree, tick. No, I disagree. I don't agree at all. So put cross. One minute 
to complete this task. What is happiness and or what does it mean to be happy? Three, two, one, start. Okay, so what have you got, Yelena? Start, please. The uh, first... uh, uh, okay, the yes, first. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Olena, could you please wait for a while? Uh, the first will be done by Yelena, and you will done the second. Uh, Thank, second. You. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. the first one. There is no right body shape or size. Healthy and happy people come in all shapes and sizes what do you think uh, i i think it's uh, uh important and it's right yes that is why you put a uh, tick, 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 a tick. tick yes you have tick. you have put a tick number two Olena mm -hmm. you can only find out what kind of person someone is if you get to know them better Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, um, I put tick. I put tick because uh, we must know uh, people uh, know know them better. Yeah, to get to know them better. To get to know them better. Okay, great. I uh, agree. Number three, please, Alex. Never laugh about people uh, for uh, being too uh, thin, uh, too uh, short, too tall, or too fat. Yes. So never. Yes. As uh, actually we all do, but children sometimes laugh. Yeah. Uh, um, thin. What does it mean? Thin. Vlada, could you remind me, please? What is thin? Thin. Mm -hmm. Yes, hoodie, that thin. Thin a hoodie. You think thin, hoodie. Uh -huh. hoodie. Okay. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the next one, number four, uh, Evgenia. Uh, never uh, laugh at all the people's jokes about uh, people's looks. Uh, that's uh, on fire and it hurts. It hurts, yes, it hurts. What does it mean uh, unfair and what does it mean hurts? How do you understand this word, these words? Yes, it's 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 зустрічається нові. І тоді, дома переглядаючи наш урок, ви зможете запам'ятати це слово назавжди. І ще, якщо побудуєте речення з ним, взагалі буде чудово. Окей, номер 5. Номер 5, Тетяна. Being seen in uh, is not the same as being uh, healthy and happy. <laughs> Maybe, yes. <laughs> yes, me too. I think the same. It's not the same thing. Yeah? Someone is happy being thin and someone is not. Number six, Olga B, please. Uh, like yourself for who you are and uh, for the things uh, you are good at. Mm -hmm. You are mm -hmm. good at. What is a good at? Do you remember? We have been working at this word. We have already uh, known this phrase. We yeah we know we we know this phrase yes good at so uh, that's great thank you very much now think please about being happy what you think what do you think is important for being happy to be thin or thick 
short or tall, rich or poor, maybe, yes, um, uh, healthy or not, or ill. So think about being happy. What is really important for being happy? Try to say two or three words. I think this is important. This is also important. And this thing is very important um, for being happy. OK, who is ready? Tatiana, do you know? Mm. As for me, yes. uh, happy is uh, my family, uh -huh. my sons, my, <laughs> my work. See them, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so and all the rest of the stuff is not important. Absolutely, yes. So being for being happy is important to have a family. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, great. Uh, Olena Senyavska, what is to be happy for you? Three things. Uh, for me, uh, to be happy is uh, uh, to be healthy, uh, to be in a good mood. And if I'm hungry, I'm not happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works for all of us, probably. Yes. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay. Uh, the next one, the next, the next, the next. Uh, Ola, what is to be happy for you? What is to be happy? I don't know. Maybe to be happy for me is uh, to be healthy. Yeah. Um, like yourself. Uh, uh -huh. uh, when your family healthy and uh, without you, yeah, ne next to you or yeah, with you, with you, with close me. to you. Yes, yes and close they are with you. you. Thank you. Okay, so this is happiness. Yes. So actually. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Laura, would you like to say anything? Yes, what is yes, of, <clears throat> of course, yes. I I think I will uh, happy when the war stopped in my country and mm. I can move my city. Uh -huh, I back. can meet back my to mother. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. I can see my mom, my uh -huh. son, uh -huh. my dog, uh -huh. and I think. I will happy. I will be happy. Yes, I will be. Yes, happy. but as uh, for another people, I agree that happy is healthy, Happiness. family, children. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Vlada. Would you like to to, to say anything? Yes. No. Okay, probably not. Okay, guys, uh, look at the words we have over here, yes? We've got some uh, new expressions um, in the workbook, and I'm gonna show you them. Words that go together. Slova, які живаються разом. Наприклад, roast chicken, boiled potatoes, grilled fish, і так далі. Сьогодні ми з вами повторимо їх, так? Ті, у кого ті, у кого виникають питання, будь ласка, запишіть ці слова в свій славничок або в зоша. Тоді в конспект туди запишіть, щоб у вас вони були. Ми працюємо над темою фуд. Ви повинні знати всі ці слова, які зустрічаються в нашому юніті, в нашому розділі. Окей, so now I'm gonna say a word. You please repeat. Three, two, one. Roast chicken. Roast chicken. Boiled potatoes. Boiled, Boiled potatoes. potatoes. Grilled fish. Grilled, Grilled fish. fish. Fried mushrooms. Fried, Fried mushrooms. Ham and cheese omelet. Ham, Ham and, and cheese omelet. Vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Vanilla, Vanilla and, and chocolate, chocolate ice, cream. ice cream. Mixed salad. Mixed salad. Mixed salad. Pasta with tomato sauce. Pasta with Thank you. Do you understand these words, guys? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Of yes. Слово сполучення, які вживаються разом. Тобто ми їх повинні стулити разом, бо інакше вони можуть мати зовсім інше значення. Наприклад, якщо roast chicken – це um, готова вже курятина, да? а якщо chicken – це незрозуміло, чи це курятина, чи це uh, маленькі... маленькі uh, 
як я забув. Курчатка. Курчатка, дякую. дякую. Describing food. The next thing. Describing food. Також, будь ласка, собі за, занотуйте. А, ці всі а, скріншоти є у вас в класрумі, тому ви можете їх завжди знайти, але краще зараз прописати, щоб а, легше було вчити тоді далі, далі вдома. А, повторюємо за мною. Describing food. When we describe food, we need some adjectives. Зараз прикметники будемо опрацьовувати. Okay? So, describing food. Everyone, uh, when, uh, repeat after me, please. Three, two, one. Delicious. 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 Disgusting. 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 Fatty. 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 Fresh. Fresh. Uh -huh. Horrible. 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 Salty. Spicy. 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 Sweet. 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 Tasty. 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 Yummy. 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 Okay. So what is delicious, guys? Plus or minus? What is delicious? Plus. 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 Yeah. Plus. So delicious can be translated as Marina. Yes, smachny, можете записати. And disgusting mm -hmm. is plus or minus? Minus. 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 What is disgusting? Огидний. Огидний, yeah. не можна їсти, yeah. да, не смачний, дуже ну, жахливий на смак. The next one, fatty. Жирний. Жирний, Жирний так. <coughs> Перепрошую. Uh, fresh. Свіжий. Свіжий. Yeah. Horrible. Спайсі. 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 Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, the next uh, and the last one is expressions with have got. Okay, so our uh, look, have got an idea. What is it? Have got, write it down. Yeah, I've got, have got a headache. Have got time. Uh -huh. Have got something to do. Ось ці слова, з якими ми будемо далі працювати. Одразу вам скажу, що крім слова, слова наприклад, fresh, да? fresh, я хочу, щоб ви запам'ятали ще антонім до нього. Fresh. Uh, stale. Stale. Стейл. Фреш – це у нас uh, свіжий, а відповідно чорствий не свіжий. Який у нас буде? Стейл. Да, запишіть собі фреш, дефіс, стейл. Там хай буде два слова. Стейл. Або ми з вами сказали, якщо щось протухло, щось пропало, то uh, дієслово і uh, ді, uh, це, uh, фразове дієслово вживається яке? Mm. Так, go off. Тобто щось про то, something went off. Оце off, це означає, що все. Можна навіть інколи так казати, там, наприклад, those apples are off. Все, кінець цим яблукам, вони згнили. Через твій затхлий несвіжий у нас буде стейк. Так. Пригадали, да? Добре. Ми е, зараз переходимо до... Headache. Ага. Headache – це головна біль. Да. Headache – це головна біль. Переходимо до... Подивіться, будь ласка, у нас сьогодні буде гра на Food One. Окей? Okay. We're going to play... A game. So look, guys, look at the screen. Yeah. Um, we've got the word. What is the answer? A, B, C, or D? Uh, uh, Duka Yulia. 
I'm sorry, а я не бачу демонстрацію. Ні, не видно. Ще раз спробуємо зайти. Ні, то демонстрація екрану. Ще раз прошу, зараз видно? Ні. Black screen. Знову не видно, так? Написано, запустив демонстрацію екрану. І все. Григорій. Так, чорний екран. Загружається. Може, загружається. Тю, що це воно таке? І я. Ще раз. Ні, ні тут. Нічого немає, зараз я в інтернет не вважаю. О, є, 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 є. Скрім, скрім, бі, бі. Ага, окей. Ми маємо А, Б, С, Н, Д, Юлія Дука. Шримп, що це? Бі, так, дивіться, всім, шримп. Шримп, ми розбирали це слово, шримп. Шримп, шримп. Так. Хто хоче, може одразу занотовувати собі шримп. Шримп. Переклад. Креветки. Креветки. Ді. Ді. Окей, дякую. Ольга, Ді. Чикен, Сі. Дякую. Єлена. Гамбургер, А. Оля. Шоколад, А. Next, please. Татьяна. О, цікаве слово. Записуємо всі, хто не знає. Сі. А що це? Лапша. Лапша, правильно. Оці штуки такі східні. Називаються нудлс. Так, нудлс. Лапша або схоже на щось на макарони. Ну, зазвичай перекладається як лапша. Нудлс. Бо всі інші слова у нас з італійської, з латини. Там макарони, вермешелі, це все латина. З італійської, так. А це у нас буде нудлс. Нудлс, саме лапша. Тому запишіть, будь ласка, ті, хто не знає, нудлс – це оця штука, лапша. Next. Лаура. Ді. Так, тут легко. Далі. Олександр. Алекс Алексій. Олександр не відповідає, мабуть, не може зараз. Алекс, тоді ви замість нього. За себе і за того. Сендвіч Сі. Сі, дякую, сендвіч. То як буде у нас сендвіч перекладатися на українську мову? Тільки подумайте, потім скажіть. Бутерброд. Так, бутерброд. Це не сендвіч. У нас це слово називається бутерброд. Добре? Це різні речі, я так думаю. Не що ви по-іншому вважаєте, хай буде у вас своя думка. У мене є бутерброд, це сендвіч. Все. Так. Наступне. Піс. Ді. Ді. Дякую. Дякую. У мене з інтернетом щось стало, ви мене якраз питали. Ну нічого, зробіть оце, Олександр. Зробіть, будь ласка. Make this one. Mangoes, it's A. A, yes, mangoes, they are. Thank you. Okay. Пам'ятаєте це те слово? Muffin. Те, що не відгадали ми тоді, пам'ятаєте? Yes. What is it? B. Okay, thank you. Тетяна, next, please. Ді. Ді. Дякую. Де next one? Оля. Кенді. Кенді. Ей. У нас бачите, хто не знає, що таке кенді, запишіть. А, це кенді. Це британське слово, так. Кенді. Кетчуп. Кетчуп. Ап, ап, кетчуп. Вже зможете замовити все, що вам треба, і купити в Британії або в Америці. Все, що вам треба. Ага. Пай. 
Не видно, да, нічого? Ні, переключили ви просто. Переключити на наступний. Ну, я вже переключив просто. Я вже переключив. Ні, вийшло. Ні, мабуть, ми туди не попали. На оцей кружок. Треба вибрати пай спочатку, можливо. Ну, пай я вже вибрав. У мене, я кажу, переключилося все. Попробуйте ще раз. Так, зараз пробую я перемикнути все ж таки інтернет. Попробуйте ще раз на пай нажати. Іноді буває, що воно проскальзує. Давайте так, я нажму на те, що зараз треба, як відповідь. О, давайте спробуємо. Тепер, що ви бачите? Ні, вони зависли. Зависло, так? Зараз будемо ремонтувати, спробуємо. Так. О, пішло. Угу. Порки. Так, у вас за запізненням воно йде. Так, добре. Добре, я вже натиснув тоді діда, і тепер оце. Що далі робити? Так, добре, мабуть, на цьому закінчимо, добре? Я бачу на один вперед. І я, відповідно, натискаю сам. Добре, поки що все. Трошки не йде воно. Саме і з інтернетом проблеми. Але нічого. Так, поїхали. Наше завдання – працювати зараз у воркбуці. Так? Екзерсайз номер три. Дивіться, будь ласка. Екзерсайз номер три. Start writing down the words. Швиденько записали в собі в зошити exercise number three і пропишіть ці слова. Ми тільки що з ними працювали. Якщо забули, заходьте одразу туди на Google Classroom. Там у вас все є. Всі ці слова я все одно скинув до уроку ще. І тоді вже можете переписати, якщо сумніваєтесь. For this activity you have two minutes only. Three, two, one, go. Ready, guys? Ready. Can we check? Number one, what is it? Dis uh, disgusting. 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 Number two. Fatty. Fatty. Uh, fatty. Переверяйте одразу, чи правильно ви написали. Fatty. Number three. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Thank you. Four. Horrible. Horrible. Five. Salty. Salty. Oh, that's salty. Не salty, а salty. Salty. Six. Spicy. Spicy seven. Sweet. Sweet. And eight. Tasty. 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 Absolutely right. Thank you. Well, you've done it correctly. Well done, guys. And now we have to complete exercise number four, trying to um, write down the definitions. You've got the explanation. It has a very nice taste, two words. So that is delicious and that is tasty. Тепер ви будете вчитися зараз давати визначення словам. У вас вони є, вам підібрати треба слова. І на наступний урок я вас буду запитувати, а що таке delicious? А як ви розумієте слово tasty? Ви повинні будете відповідати цим, цими фразами. Тому, якщо е, можете, запишіть саме фрази повністю. У вас на це завдання буде три хвилини. Three, two, one, go. Угу. Mm -hmm.
Ready? Okay, let's check. Uh, the zero one, could you read the zero and the first one, please, Irina? Irina, can you hear me? No. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, zero. Yeah, we, always, we always read um, the example. It, it has a very nice tasty. Mm. Taste, taste. Mm. Taste. 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 Mm -hmm. taste, taste. Delicious, tasty. Tasty, uh, absolutely right. Delicious, tasty. Next, number one. Mm. It uh, has a very bad uh, taste. Uh, bad taste, yes, bad. Mm -hmm. Bad. Um, mm. Horrible. Horrible, uh, horrible or no. dis disgusting. 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 disgusting, absolutely mm -hmm. right. Horrible or disgusting, thank you. Uh, disgusting. Yes, disgusting. 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 The next one, please. Um, wait a minute. I will find someone who hasn't answered yet. Evgenia, please. Alex, please. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of fat in it. Uh, yes. This word is uh, fatty. Fatty, yes, fatty, absolutely right. Olya, number three. Uh, it has sugar in it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Uh, the next one, Tatiana. It uh, has a hot <coughs> and strong taste, for example, curry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Curry, curry. Spice. Uh, spice. And maybe salty. Spice. Yes. So it has hot and hot, really spice. hot taste. That is spicy. Spice. Number five. Uh, all have be please. Uh, it is in a natural condition, not from a tin or frozen. Mm -hmm. It's uh, fresh. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yes, fresh. Okay, good guys. So now uh, tell me please, if it has a uh, natural condition, yes, it's not from a tin, it's not frozen from your fridge, it's холодильник, no, it's not frozen, not, uh, not from a tin. What is it called, Olena It uh, It's called fresh. Fresh, um, like curry, something like curry. What is it? Curry is what, Tatiana? Spicy. 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 Yeah, spicy. Можна просто сказати hot, звичайно. Ви побачите ті, хто за кордоном зараз, особливо будуть частіше бачити слово hot, ніж spicy. Типу, аж гаряче, настільки гостре, що це гаряче, да. Прямо, прямо таке. Тобто ход дуже часто по ход э, дуже такий э, синонім да, цього слова uh, spicy. Okay, the next one. Uh, the thing that has sugar in it. The thing that has sugar in it. What is it, Оля? Оля Бі, Оля Бі. Оля Бі. Sweet. Okay. Um, sweet. Uh, sweet. Okay. And uh, the thing is uh, that this is fat, has got lots of fat in it. Prosta Ola. Ola. Uh, fatty. Fatty. Absolutely right. Uh, it has a very bad taste. There are two words for very bad taste, Oksana. Horrible, uh, disgusting. Disgusting. And this one has a perfect taste, has got nice taste. How would you describe something that has a nice taste? Irina Gomenyuk. Delicious. Tasty. Delicious and tasty. Okay. And yummy. And yummy, yes. Thank you very much. Yummy, yummy we've got, yes. Yummy. We also had yummy. yummy. Okay. Yummy. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the next one is uh, exercise number number six. 
try looking at the words we uh, had uh, worked on today in our vocabulary. Let's match the sentences and the pictures. This is from this is from the world wise. Okay, so let's match them. Uh, the zero. Look at the picture in zero. It's the zero. answer is D. Yes. What is the answer? Zero and the first four, Marina. Um, six, uh, да, правильно? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Право six. Mm. Yes. I have got an idea. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. I have got an idea. So that is no. That is. Um, Let's go to the thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's an idea. Three. Three. It's uh, number three. The next one. The uh, two about the headache, Laura. I am taking aspirin. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm... I've got a headache. I am taking aspirin. You were, you were. So, what picture is it? You, you one. Were... Uh, picture one. Picture one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what is I when we have, uh, when we have no time? Well, we haven't got any time. Look, what picture can uh, can it be? Uh, um... Picture two. Picture two. Picture two. And Yulia Duka, the last mm -hmm. one. I have not good time. Uh -huh. and I've got something to do. I've got something to do. That is. Uh, I've got something to do. It's uh, a uh, uh, three, three. I got something. Yeah. Zero. Picture, zero. Picture, uh -huh. zero. Picture zero. zero. Yes. Picture zero. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, now we're going to jump to this part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, uh, this is um, this is not the last grammar we had in the unit, uh, but I hope you don't uh, feel it like very hard to complete. Okay, um, this is the thing number one grammar. Yes, we have too much and too many. However, sometimes we can say not enough. Not enough означає недостатньо. Той час як too much, too many, це у нас перебір вже. Надто багато. Да? Надто. Як ви думаєте, от ми ж з вами пройшли вже досить багато граматичних таких конструкцій і граматики, в принципі, а коли з якими словами будемо живати too much, а з якими too many? Хто нам скаже? Оксана, скажете нам, де ми будемо живати too much, а де too many? Чому це різні слова? Too much – це те, що, по-моєму, ми не можемо порахувати. Complete. А uh, то мені uh, те, що рахуємо в одиницях. Те, рахуємо. Бачите, чудово. А якщо ми вживаємо not enough, що таке enough? Недостатньо. Недостатньо. А, недостатньо. Взагалі, enough – це слово достатньо означає. Якщо вам щось хтось говорить на вухо постійно, ви кажете enough, і це людину зупиняє. Да? Якщо ви щось бачите, що людина працює там дуже довго, довго, чи там щось робить, що вам вас... Е вам не подобається, ви кажете enough, і людина повинна зупинитися. Оце слово enough це як стоп звучить для них. Тобто достатньо, вже досить, неможливо. Да? Okay, you've got one minute to complete the first exercise. I will uh, I hope you uh, will do it right. Okay? Визначте, де там злічувані, де не злічувані, і спробуйте зробити це завдання.
ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's check. Number one. Um, Tatiana, start. He always cooked two. Uh, many. Sorry. <laughs> Too many. Now, uh, too many things. things. Yes, things countable and countable. 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 Good. Countable. Number two. Olga, be please. Uh, there is too much salt in the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Too much salt. Тобто тепер ви знаєте, як сказати, надто багато солі, да? Якщо таке трапилось. Ірина, number three. There is not uh, many tomato, uh, much, much tomato sauce in on it. There is not oh, enough. Sauce, no. sauce un uncountable. Uh, uh, да, <coughs> sauce uncountable. И вживается so, not. Бачите, ось наше not. Тому мы повинні not вжити enough. not ah, enough. Not enough. Not enough, enough. Просто, да. not enough tomato sauce. Это означает, что недостаточно или много. Правильно, недостаточно. Not enough tomato sauce on it. Number four, please, uh, Елена. There aren't much vegetables in the soup. Mm. А, дивіться на закінчення. Mm. Vegetables. Mm. vegetables. Mm. Many, да. Ага, many, да? Mm. Ми хочемо, mm. ми хочемо сказати. Окей, mm. okay. Олена Синявська. Mm. Олена There is no... Можете There сказати, is що, no... uh, що тут, можна сказати, що тут uh, ще слово enough підходить? Дивіться, there aren't yeah. many vegetables, there aren't enough vegetables, правда? Обидва yeah. варіанти, в принципі, можливі, да? дивлячись того, що ми хочемо сказати. Yeah. Добре, і в п'ятому, Олена Снявська, прошу. Not enough. There is not enough sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. І можна сказати, there is not much sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. да, не багато. Mm -hmm. Якщо вас запитали, чи багато, ви кажете, ні, не багато. А якщо ми скажемо not enough, це значить недостатньо. Тобто є якась різниця, завжди треба думати. Дуже схоже з українською мовою, до речі. Так, ну то давайте тепер, у нас є вже всі слова, ви вже сформували всі речення. Давайте сформуємо правило тепер, по якому ми будемо далі працювати і робити домашку, домашнє завдання. Кто хочет спробовать? Да, плюс, 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 плюс. Use too many mm -hmm. with countable noun. Great. Use too much with uncountable nouns. Perfect. Use not enough with countables and uncountables. То есть, что у нас выходит в данном случае? Что мы вживаем... Enough, not enough, з countable, зі злічуваннями і не злічуваннями методиками. Бачите? Як добре, як власно, що так у нас вийшло, правда? Можна і так, і так вживати. Добре, я всім вам дякую за увагу. На сьогодні все. Урок закінчений. До побачення. До побачення. До побачення.